Today I'm going to start on a mini quilt with this little quilt block. Hi there! Welcome to a new video on the Shiver Do channel. My name is Irene and today I'm making a mini quilt. Since the new corona situation where we're supposed to stay at home as much as possible, I'm not so often in the studio. I'm working from home as much as possible, I just launched my new website, so I'm trying to do all the things that I can do from home. Uh, but uh, I was kind of missing my sewing machine and my studio, so I figured I'm going to make uh, a mini quilt. I have half a day, so... Uh, um, just going to try to see how far I can get because I also promised on Instagram the pattern of a little bee block that I made. So today I'm going to combine those two. I'm making another bee block and um, sewing that into a mini quilt and just going to see how far I can get. I've set myself up with a nice cup of tea and some letters from my uh, ABC paper piecing pattern sketchbook so I'm all set to start drawing something and then um, making a mini coat. The letters from my ABC pattern are uh, 4 by 6 inch and 2.5 and by 4 inch so um, there are two sizes in the pattern so I'm going to keep those in mind um, while designing my mini quilt putting them aside just for now so what I want to make is something with the little B block that I designed a few weeks ago. And the little B block was 6 by 6 inches. So what I want to make, let me zoom in a little bit so that it's easier to see. Look, see, there we have the cute little B. So what I would like to make is uh, something with Be Happy, just a little positive mini quilt. Um, so it could be something like the B and then be happy, something like that. Or maybe a longer version of just the B. I think that could also be very cute. Just something positive for now to um, uh, put on our wall or on the door or something. Or maybe even hang it in a window so that other people on the street can see it. Maybe it's fun to um, make the letters bubble a little bit because the letters from my ABC paper piecing pattern. Let me show you if I have a good example in here. Uh, yeah. So here I have the O and the P, and they're very neat, uh, straightforward letters, so they're not wonky or anything. And I think when I would make a word happy, then I would want the letters to be happy. So um, not sure if it's clear enough, but that the letters would be dancing a little bit like so. And also the B can then be under a slight angle. Um, yeah, maybe that's something fun to go to. Now let's figure out how big it will be. I think I would like to have the letters as big as the B. So I've cut some sheets of A4 size tea bag paper and uh, yeah, this will be a little bit of waste of tea bag paper um, because there's only two letters per page and I need five of them so I do need five sheets of A4 paper. So if I would have all the time in the world I would just uh, draw these by hand. But now I'm going to quickly run those through my printer and... Um, yeah, then I'm all ready to go, so I don't have to uh, take time to transfer my pattern to my tea bag paper, I'm just going to print it. And how I print on um, tea bag paper is that I first 
spray a little bit of basting spray on um, A4 paper then I paste two papers on top of each other and then I can just glue the teabag paper to the printing paper but if you want to try this um, please do keep in mind that most printers don't really like different types of paper so um, yeah be aware that you're, you can get a paper jam when you try to print it like this. There we go. Let's print it. So there I have my first two printed. The A and the H. Now I'm going to peel that away from the paper. It's pretty sticky, so that is also why I uh, only spray uh, glue to one sheet of paper and then press two sheets of paper together to um, uh, divide the glue between two pages because otherwise it's too sticky and you will um, damage your teabag paper. So those two are printed and now I can just reuse this with another sheet of teabag paper. And one for the final letter P. That's every piece of the pattern that I need. Okay, and these patterns I printed because I'm going to use those as uh, templates. So here we have a P, H, A, this is the big one, Y. Yep. These ones I need for, for the templates. And these ones are the patterns. So I guess that's everything I need. Ruler, add a quarter ruler. Can store this away. Now all I need is some lovely fabrics to make this mini quilt in. For my background, I'm going to use this one by Sasa First Lane. I just got it in yesterday, and I think it's a really nice gray fabric, uh, which will make all the colors for my B and my lattice pop. So the bees I'm going to make in a yellow and I'm just going to check on my phone what I used for the bees that I've already made. I made a few bees already but I made those for someone on my uh, quilt bee. Um, so these were the little bees and I used the dark grey for um, the stripes of the bee and light blue, turquoise, blue-ish for the wings and then a solid black for the eye and a kind of creamy yellow for the bee itself and I really like those so I'm going to see if I have those fabrics lying here Then I only need to decide what colors I'm going to use for um, the letters. So I could do the happy letters in these two fabrics. Then I would have a B, uh, the blue details in the wings, and then the letters also in blue. And then maybe one of the letters, one of the P's for example, uh, also going in yellow. Could do that. Okay, change of plan. So I'm just going to go bright. <laughs> These fabrics I got in uh, yesterday as well as the, the grey one. Um, and I'm just going to use them all. What better to use happy fabrics that you just got in that are new. So um, yeah, I'm just going to go for these. And I'm only not sure if I'm going to use this one. Um, so I'm just going to check if there's a different bright color to go with it. But I do like the idea that it's pink. So. Thank you. 
I guess it fits. I'm just going to go with this scheme. I removed the darker green and added the lighter blue. Um, so this is going to be it. Let's cut it up and uh, start cutting my letters. So now that I have all my fabrics, it's time to start cutting them. And I'm going to start with my letters. And of course, the 10 inch that I cut for every color, that is going to be way too much to make my letters and the B. But this way I can very easily measure how much fabric I used while making the quilt. So then I'm test running it to make some kits. So if you want to make this mini quilt, there will be kits available as soon as I finished it. So maybe at the end of this video, if I made it today, I don't know, maybe I can finish it and then I know how much I will need. So then uh, the kits will be up for order. Uh, and with the kits, of course, the, uh, the pattern for the B is free on the blog. And with the kit, you will get the whole ABC pattern. So with the small and the big letters and the fabric you need for uh, this quilt. So. Uh, let's start cutting. The B block is done. So this first part of the mini is finished. I think it's super cute. I had to rip out a part because I made markings with my iron that apparently isn't all clean. So I made a spot on this fabric, as you can see here. But then I put a new wing on. And then I made a spot on my fabric over here the gray but it's not as visible as the other one so <laughs> just going to leave this in but it does mean that i really need to clean my ironing uh my my iron and my iron board probably also um well the little v is done um and now it is it's already 10 past one uh Time to make some letters, but I guess I'm not going to finish the quilt top for this mini today. Uh, but I'm just going to make some letters and see how far I can get. There we have a B and two of the letters done. Now I see them together, I was wondering, hmm, shouldn't I have gone for the bigger letters? But when I then place one next to it, it would be a lot larger than this one. So I think this is the right size, especially when they will be a little bit wobbly like this, going on in all the directions. Uh, I think it will be a really happy mini quilt. So I didn't finish the whole mini quilt before I have to go home, but it was really nice to be back in the studio and picking up my camera and just doing some sewing. Yeah, so I guess next week I'm just going to work on this again and uh, try to finish it. So also the kits that I mentioned before, um, I am going to make them, uh, but since it's not all finished, I also want to include fabric for the backing and the binding. Um, so. Uh, I hope that that will be done next week. 
And also in the meantime, I'm adding all of my fabrics that you see around me to my webshop. I have a new webshop. It is awesome. A uh, new webshop, new branding. Uh, go check it out on sugardoo.com and uh, let me know what you think about it. So that's it for this week's video. I hope you also got to have some uh, sewing time. Uh, some time for yourself, some time to uh, just enjoy little happy things. Thank you so much for watching and I'll hope to see you again next week. Bye bye!